Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 37 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves. And so for this part, you can see the waves travel along this cable, right? And this cable can split in two parts, mu1 and mu2 with different linear density. Mm -hmm. And then we need to find some quantities for these waves like the wavelength, the tension along this wave. Uh, along this cable and then the ratio of this wavelength. So first one, let's see what the quantity is given. So we can say mu1, mu2 is given to us the linear densities at the two part of this cable. The second one to give us the wave function look like this one, right? And from this wave function, we can say the amplitude is given, the wave number k is given, and also the angular velocity omega is given. So first one, ask you, uh, what is the wavelength on the lighter section of the cord? So this is the lighter part, right? So now we need to find the wavelength. We can see what quantity we have, a k omega. So most easy part is k. k is the wave number, two pi, uh, uh, two pi over lambda. So lambda equal to two pi over k. Then you input this k inside, get answer there. The next one, you need to find the tension in the cord. So we can see um, in the function, in the equations in this chapter, we can connect the tension with the wave speed. This wave quantities is just this function, agree? The speed, wave speed equal to squared tension over linear density. And you can see the linear density is given, mu1 is given. Next one, we need to find the velocity v. V is the wavelength divided by period because in one circle, the distance it traveled is one lambda, one wavelength, and time taken period t. So then we can write it as this one. The you can see lambda is five, so by zero we don't know t yet. So we can see the t can be write as the one over f, right? So one over t is a frequency f lambda times the frequency. And then, how can you find this uh, frequency? Uh, we don't know yet. But we can write the lambda as 2 pi over k, right? And 2 pi f, just the omega. So now we find the velocity for the wave is omega over k. And this is get the omega and the k are given. So now we input the velocity v inside, we get the function for tension ft. In this uh, functions and input uh, mu, omega, and k, we get the answer there. The next one asks you what is the wavelength when the wave travels on the heavier section on the second part, right? This one is asking you. You can see for this cable, the tension must be the same at every position. This is rendered in previous chapters. And then we can write it in this function. The Tension for part one equal to part two, and the tension function is given there. So we can replace the ft1 as mu1 v1 square, ft2 as mu2 v2 square, agree? And then input v1 and v2 in the function with the lambda. So v1 is lambda1 times f, v2 is lambda2 times f, and the frequency, frequency can cancel. Then we can find the lambda 2 in this function, input lambda 1, mu 1, and mu 2, get the answer there. Thank you.